Hey guys, Dan the RBRT guy back with you again today. So the last video that I did, or one of the previous videos I did, you saw me take out that really nasty rusty bolt out of this exhaust manifold with my RBRT hex. And as I said in that video, one of the studs were broken already. Well, there it is. It's pretty, it's, this thing's destroyed. So what we're going to do today is we're going to, with a little bit of WD-40 and, a, and, and, a, and possibly even a mini ductor to heat it up with, we're going to try to extract that stud out of this engine using our new socket extractors. Now socket extractors are great for anything that's your last line of defense, whether it's a rounded bolt or it's a stud, it'll take off 100% rounded bolts. And in fact, we're going to bite onto that stud and we're going to try to remove it. One of the cool things about my socket extractor when you're using it to remove studs, unlike other types of stud extractors, you can heat the bolt up and use mine because there's no moving parts like those little silver ones that have the floating nipples inside of there. Um, you use those with heat and they just expand and fly apart. That's not the case with my socket extractor. So let's see what we can do to get this bad boy out of there. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to squirt a little WD-40 up in there and penetrate that. It's penetrating oil. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my mini ductor here to heat this up because obviously I think that's going to need a little bit of heat. So let's do that. I just love these mini ductors. If you don't have one, you should seriously think about getting one. When I was a Mac guy, this was one of my most favorite demos. I love, I love using these things. You can see the smoke already rising. These things are fantastic. So we're heating that stud up real good. Awesome. She's hot. All right. Now we're going to bash on our socket extractor here. Let's see what we can do with her. One of the other great things about my socket extractor is unlike other types of extractors like the turbo socket, you can't put it in the tightening position, only in the loosening position because of the spiral thread. Well, sometimes you got to crack it up before you can crack down and sometimes you got to work it back and forth. And I'll tell you what, you know, taking out nasty rusty studs and bolts is a bit of a dance. And look at that, it's getting it. Oh, fantastic. We're getting it out of there. Look at that. Out comes that stud. So we were able to go ahead and get that out of there. Amazingly enough, it came out not too bad. A little bit of heat, a little bit of uh, WD-40. And now to overcome the next problem, trying to get that out of there. So over to the vise to try to smack that out of there. Nope. Grab your little forcing rod, our FOR forcing rod right there. Threads in through the back, just like that. bottom and out she comes just like that and that that came out of there pretty easy so that's our new socket extractors on a very extreme stud removal just a, a fantastic bit of technology once again I'm Dan the RBRT guy don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and smash that bell so you can see when my next video comes up thanks very much